Hello, 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 familia. Welcome, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time and come visit me on TikTok and Instagram. I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back. I'm an oldie, a goodie. You guys, I just washed my hair. You know what? Let's put it up. I didn't want to put it up because it's a little wet still, but I need to, should I put my headband on? Now that the hair is good, we're ready to start. So I just did my base makeup. As always, I avoid the under eye area anytime I'm going to review concealers because one I don't like a lot of product there I have very creasy under eyes the more product there the more likely it's gonna look textured it's gonna look heavy it's gonna look not good not smooth the only thing I have is my two eye creams that I put on the belief and the Bobbi Brown the belief one is my jam concealers I love the L'Oreal true match line I think it's freaking amazing and the fact that they released concealers I'm like with it so I got two shades W5 and N5 oh, look at the Dolpha. It's flat and it's triangular. Here, could you see it better like this? Yeah. Ooh, okay. It's very serum-esque. It's lightweight. You see, it's a little transparent. That's what you get with serum concealers. Honestly, serum concealers are definitely not my favorite, only because I like a more full coverage. This is the shade N9, is the one closest to my wrist. M9, what am I saying? N5. Got W4 warm which would be a little warmer. N is for neutral, which is neutral. These are actually really good shades. Let's see how they work out. On the left side, we're gonna start off with W5. Look, okay. It's pigmented. I mean, it's lightweight, but we know that, you know, because it's a serum concealer. I like this. This fits so well. I just reviewed the Revlon one, but the Revlon's more of a full coverage concealer. It has a bit of a scent. Yeah, a little scent. I just don't know what it is. A little bit of alcohol, maybe? Let's let this dry down. I'm gonna get my sponge and start tapping. Oh, that's nice. Oh, crap. I think I waited too long. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay. It's, well, that blended nice. You see how it just melted in? Let's see here. Oh, that's nice. Natural. I think letting it dry down definitely helps. It really helps concealers adhere to your skin. Coverage is good. It's subtle yet pigmented. Wow, okay, for a serum, not too shabby. A thing that I'm liking about this concealer is how much, I mean, how well it's drying down. I feel like a lot of times because serum concealers are very thin, they don't dry well and they kind of move around and then they get into your lines really quickly. I think that's just how the formula is. So I'm gonna use N5 on this side and give you all the info about this. The new L'Oreal True Match Radiant Serum Concealer retails for $15.99. I purchased mine at Ulta. I have two shades and five W5. This concealer provides instant dark circle coverage, visibly depuffs eye bags, and helps iron out fine lines. This is a lightweight, crease resistant formula, is infused with 1.5% hyaluronic acid plus caffeine to provide 24 hours of hydration. It corrects like a concealer, hydrates like an eye serum. Multi purpose concealer can also be used for highlighting and contouring. Dermatologist tested, suited for sensitive skin. I think I'm liking the warm shade a little more. The brush application. This coverage is good. Look, it's not accentuating any texture. It's creasing. We do know concealer will always crease. There's never a time where it's not going to crease, especially if you have creasy under eyes. What I always recommend is just to set it quickly before it has time to really settle in those lines. The coverage looks good beside those creases. Maybe darkness a little bit here because the sponge will also sheer product out. It brushes perfect with a serum concealer because it provides a little more coverage. Okay, let's set. Let's get our fair powder from Maybelline. This is the lightest shade. I like this powder because it really highlights that eye area, especially because I have dark under eyes. I'm tapping it to even it out. I like to highlight with powder better than like an actual cream. It's just personal preference. I got rid of all my creases. Hold on, there's more creases. You always want to work quickly. Look straight ahead, set and set, look up, really get into those like fine lines. That's why I like loose powder because all the loose powder 
sort of part will really get into any crease any fine line as opposed to a pressed powder if you don't have very creasy under eyes a pressed powder will actually look really good the thing for me i can't use a pressed powder too much because it doesn't really get into all the little areas i need it to and i'm not gonna bake i'm just gonna press this powder in because this is the lightest powder it looks too white for my skin tone so i just have to like press it in and call it a day let's get a close look well that looks good you see no darkness is peeking through we got good coverage coverage looks good from here let's turn off the lights it looks really good very serum-esque but pigmented it is 10 19 in the a.m you guys know we're gonna do an all-day wear test brb i'm just gonna finish up the face peinadita peinadita oh my swatches oh my gosh i almost forgot about them you know what let's talk about these yeah they dried down but it's kind of like hydrating like they're stuck like not going nowhere let it dry down for those 30 seconds it really adheres which is a good thing because anything that sticks is most likely going to stay a lot longer and creases and texture will lessen i'm kind of really liking the w5 shade i don't see too much of like a huge difference let's look up yeah this looks good it reminds me of everyday concealer so it's not going to give you that full coverage it is buildable if you let it dry down and you build like a second maybe a third layer you can probably get it to like a medium maybe pushing to the full coverage oh god i just spit that's how i'm excited I, that's how excited i am so lights turned off yeah, this looks good you don't see darkness a little bit of creasing here on this eye this is the sponge eye the brush side looks really good lids look good with lids i always check lids because concealer can create texture and it can make it look worse or better i have textured lids you guys know we're gonna go in front of the window so you can see how it looks especially daylight can really make a concealer look good or bad you know so my lip is just one color girl it is nyx line loud make a statement i fell in love with this shade when i swatched them in front of la ventana this is w5 n5 yeah coverage looks good dang makeup looks good too huh i'm just like okay makeup look at the lids lids look good this coverage i'm like kind of tripping out because this is a serum concealer but we have to see how it wears because serum concealers just tend to sometimes fade through the day because they're so thin but this one it adheres so that's the game changer okay bye yeah we're gonna ignore this lip product you guys it is midnight this concealer has been on for 14 hours but i got some footage for you at around three o'clock at this point this concealer was looking bomb nothing was wrong everything looked beautiful about it everything smooth pigmented no creases both shades look amazing i have not touched anything up look how bomb this concealer looks w and n girl gastada wear for real i am surprised pleasantly surprised how good this looks you see no creasing pigment is there it doesn't look like it's fading at all i'm completely shocked first impressions and first day review yes 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 okay see you tomorrow bye fam back for day new middle those i'm legit on four hours of sleep so we need some concealer today i went to the gym i'm feeling good you guys know we change it up i'm gonna use the elf eyelid primer i love using it for the under eyes let's use it for the lids too this makes the concealer really just adhere and it helps with a lot of the creasing so i'm just gonna blend it out let this dry for about 30 seconds or maybe like 15 seconds i'm gonna use and stick with shade w5 i really like the warmth of this go here i'm like legit thinking is this the best serum concealer out there i'll let you know at the end of the day to see how it works also we're gonna stick with the brush application i really liked it a lot better other than the house labs this is my other favorite you see how this one's smaller it's not as dense as the house lab i could tell right now it's drying down so i need to work a smidge faster and get my finger sometimes the finger is just so much faster we're gonna keep this up to give the eye a lifted effect because i need it i am so tired well i'm actually not tired i have a lot of energy right now because i just went to the gym but i know there's gonna be a crash around one or two you know <laughs> oh you know now that i'm touching it right now i'm like wait it's sticky but it's also sticky because we have that primer this is really good yeah that primer is really working well 
Ooh. Ooh. I was gonna color correct because we saw how good this concealer works. But you know what? Let's use a little bit of like a smidge. Yellow helps to color correct the blues and purples. This is a dry sponge. See what it gives us. Oh yeah, we already have a brightness here. That's also what the yellow color corrector does. It will provide brightness. This side, I like to add here because I have a little bit of darkness there. I'm gonna add not as much because you know. <laughs> you know what, this time, let's not let it dry as much because this thing is sticky. You do get a very sticky effect. We really don't need this, I don't think. Look, ooh, looks good. It's creasing, but we do know why it creases. It's a thin formula and I have creases. <laughs> Look, yeah, this is good. Build it up a little bit. Place some with my brush and then blend it out with my finger. I just like to build concealer up personally. I think it gives us like the most beautiful coverage. Because this concealer dries down, you could build it very well. Because it's kind of like you're building on top of something a little bit dry. Let's get some Derma Blend. I have this way at the bottom of the drawer because I haven't used this powder forever. So we're about to use it today. Too hyped for this concealer. I'm like really excited to see how it's gonna work you know even that powder out so it goes in your eye area evenly I'm gonna look up get rid of any creases you guys yesterday I got home so late because I went to the LA Philharmonic at the Walt Disney concert hall here it's gonna be in the vlog vlog number 13 when is it coming it's coming next week I detailed everything in the vlog oh my god yesterday was so much fun and I'm just still in awe how beautiful it was and I recently saw them American Symphony on Netflix. It's funny, I saw it last week and then this week I go, oh my God, it wasn't the symphony that the guy was playing in, the Netflix documentary, but it was something similar. It was so cool, it was so awesome. Just like you feel the music, you know? Okay, I was like, I'm feeling this concealer. <laughs> Try to bake a little. I'm gonna go like that. I don't like to bake that much. Add it and then press it in. Derma Blend has one of my favorite, favorite powders because it's super finely milled. And finely milled powders really get into all the creases of the eye area. Let's just turn off these lights. Ooh, smooth. Okay, it looks good. Let's see what the lights turned off. I forgot to show you that way first. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, so it is currently, it is eight o'clock. I'm gonna finish my face like I did yesterday. Ready, ready to conquer the day. Hold on, all my pelitos here. Oh, hold on. I have mascara all in here. Dang, no creasing on either side. This is the side with a primer, corrector. Honestly, they both look good. No difference, lids look good. Ooh, day two, looking not too shabby, not too shabby. Yeah, this looks good. Okay, oh wait, my lip, my lip, my lip. I'm using the same lip liner, you guys. I am sharper, sharpening this down. Make a statement already, I love it. And then Milani, red flag. I wanted to do this little number, you know? Oh, okay, see you later, bye. This is the primer side, corrector side. Honestly, I don't see much of a difference right now. I'm feeling like I'm liking maybe the corrector a little bit more, just a little bit. I don't know, what you think? Looking up lids just like yesterday it's giving that natural look with great coverage oh okay fam i'm back oh my gosh it is 5 30 you guys this concealer has been on all day but you know i got some footage for you at around three o'clock to show you and both sides were looking good i honestly don't see the difference between the primer and or the corrector i think everything looks fabulous here we are now it's what time is it five it's been about 10 or 11 hours right let's see Ooh. Oh yeah, this looks good. Mm-hmm, lids, no darkness. They both look good, kind of the same. See, let's see, lights off, a ver. Yeah, this is a yes. This concealer is amazing. It is very buildable and pigmented. I love that it dries down and it adheres to your skin, which gives us this beautiful finish. This is a heck yes. I really love this serum concealer. I do believe it is the best serum concealer out there. Outside of Tara 28, I feel like Tara 28's concealer, it's more creamy and it has more texture. Textures is a little bit different, but if we're going by names, I do think this is the best serum concealer out there right now. And it's drugstore, yes, yes, yes. I purchased mine at Ulta. I will link it down below. Anywhere I can find it, currently it's only at Ulta. Let me know, have you seen this around? Are you gonna try it out? And this will go perfect with the foundation. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. 
Okay, but yeah, this is it, fam. I love how I look because I don't look gastada. Of course, that's important. And thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.